What if I told you that you could create stunning, eye-catching animated videos right inside Canva without using any complicated tools or editing software? Stick around, because in today's video, I'll be revealing the secret to creating professional animated videos in Canva step-by-step. -step. Let's jump right in. All right, so first head over to your Canva. You can use either the app or the web version, whichever you prefer. I'll be using the Canva app for this tutorial. Once you open Canva, look at the top section and scroll until you see the videos option. Tap on it and you'll find different video formats like landscape, portrait, and various aspect ratios. Since we're creating a YouTube video, select the landscape option. I'm going to be selecting landscape for this project. Once it opens, these are the pages we'll be working with. You can either drag to adjust the first page or keep adding more pages by tapping the plus icon below. We're going to make a simple animated video today, something you can use for your business, your faceless YouTube channel, or even for storytelling or motivational videos. So first thing I'm going to do is go to elements and search for street. When the results appear, tap on graphics, then select any street image of your choice Drag it to adjust and make sure it fits perfectly on the screen. Next, I'm going to add an image of a car. Still in elements, search for car and tap on graphics. Now, to find an animated one, tap on the filter icon, the three lines at the top right. Click animation, then select horizontal because we need a moving car. Once you've done that, tap done and Canva will show you animated cars you can choose from. Pick the one you like and place it on your street background. So there you have it. Once your animated car is on the street, the next step is to adjust its position. You can make it smaller or larger depending on your preference and place it exactly where you want it to start, whether that's at the beginning of the road, the middle, or anywhere else that fits your scene. Now, let's make the car move. While the car is still highlighted, Scroll through the bottom toolbar and look for Animate. Once you find it, tap on it. Next, we're going to select this B icon, the one with the Create and Animation text on it. Once you've clicked on it, you can now use your mouse or finger to drag and draw the movement path for your car. If you want the car to move in a straight line, make sure your drag is straight. But if you want it to curve or turn, just move your mouse in that direction. After setting the movement path, click on the car again to highlight it. Under Movement Styles, select Steady. This gives the car a smooth, natural motion. Next, adjust the speed you can make it faster or slower, depending on how you want your car to move. Once that's done, play the clip to preview your animation. You'll see your car moving perfectly along the street. And that's it, your first animated clip is ready. You can always tweak it, adjust the path, or play around with the settings until you get the perfect result. Now, let's move on to our second clip. Just like I mentioned earlier, click on the plus icon below to add a new page for your next scene. Once the new page appears, go to Elements. And this time we're going to search for a city background. Tap on Graphics, then scroll through until you find one that fits the vibe or theme you're going for. When you find the one you like, tap to select it. You can adjust it the same way we did earlier by dragging it to fill the entire screen or use a quicker method. While your image is still highlighted, tap the three dots at the top and select set image as background. This automatically makes the image fit perfectly into your background without needing to drag it manually. Once we've added our background, the next thing we want to do is add a character and I want this character to walk. So head over to elements and search for walking. Tap on graphics and you'll see a variety of animated walking characters, both male and female. Choose the one that best fits your scene. I'll be selecting this female character because it matches the color and overall vibe of my background. Once you've selected your character, it will appear on your background. Click on the edges to resize and position it exactly where you want it to start from. I'm going to place mine at the beginning of the street. Next, click on animate, then drag to create the path you want the character to follow whether it's a straight walk or a curved one. 
While the character is still highlighted, go to Movement Style and select Steady. Then, slightly increase the speed so it looks natural and smooth. Now, play the clip to preview the animation. You can see how nicely the character walks across the screen. Everything looks great. So now, let's go ahead and add our last character for this clip. Now, for the third clip, the process is still the same, but this time, we're going to switch things up just a bit to make our animation more dynamic. Go ahead and click the plus plus icon to add a new page. I've already shown you how to add a background and a character, so we'll move a little faster here. For this scene, I'll choose a different background to give it a new feel something like a park or a marketplace, depending on the story you're telling. Then, I'll add another animated character, just like before, and adjust its movement to fit the new scene. The main idea is to keep your animation interesting by changing your setting, character, or movement style, not just repeating the same look. Once everything is set, play through all your clips together to make sure they transition smoothly. If there's any part you don't want in your clip, simply click on split to cut it out or drag the edges to trim or remove the unwanted section. Once we're done, let's preview our video from beginning to end. If you're satisfied with how everything looks, it's time to add your audio. It could be background music or a voiceover. To do that, click on uploads then select Upload Files and choose any audio of your choice. I'm going to be uploading two files, one for the background music and one for the voiceover. Once you tap on them, they'll automatically appear in your timeline. I'll also add my voiceover, then play it back to listen and make sure everything sounds perfect. When you're satisfied, click on the arrow icon pointing upward, then tap Download. Here's the outcome of what we were able to Life create. Life is like a journey. Everyone has a path to walk. Sometimes the road is busy and full of distractions. Other times, it's a season to learn, to grow, to prepare. On the way, you meet people. And that's it. Once it's downloaded, you can use your video for your storytelling channel, your business, or any faceless content just to have your animations playing while your story runs in the background. The best part? You don't need Canva Pro. Everything we used in this tutorial is available in the free version. You've just seen how easy it is to create beautiful animated videos right inside Canva. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. And I'll see you in the next one.